On January 3rd, a prominent VIP account on Weibo posted a video announcing Xie Tiangyang, a boy from Qianxi, mysteriously disappeared before the Dragon Boat Festival. His body was found in the Weihua River four months later. He had no head or limbs, and both kidneys were missing. His father's online account was banned, so he found another way to seek justice. However, authorities quickly deleted the video post after gaining attention from netizens. A video circulating on overseas social media platform X showed the boy's father driving a Lala move truck on the road, with his son's image posted on both sides and the back. On the truck body were two large red letters saying, Case Truth, below which it read, No head, no limbs, no kidneys. The boy's father also filmed while holding a picture of his son, stating in the video that his son, Xie Changyang, 15, went missing while studying at the Shanxi Xinhua Computer Software School. A few months later, only the middle part of the boy's body was found, and he wanted the local authorities to help uncover the truth and ensure appropriate punishment for those involved. The autopsy report on the victim's body was deemed flawed. The report mentioned that the head and limbs of the deceased naturally fell off after decomposition. In the absence of a head and limbs, the report ruled out the possibility of death by violence based on a single incision and severe decomposition. At that point, considering the indeterminable signs of suffocation due to the decomposing body and the body being cut into pieces, the conclusion was unable to exclude drowning as the cause of death. The victim's family disagrees with this autopsy result and continues to appeal for a thorough investigation into the boy's death. On mainland social media platforms like Weibo and X, many netizens suspect that the boy was the next victim of the organ harvesting crime, similar to the case of student Hu Xinyu. According to mainland media reports, after Xie Qiangyang left school, he lost contact with his family for six days, and his mobile phone was turned off. The boy's father stated that the child was perfectly normal before the incident, and the teacher also confirmed nothing happened at school. The last time the child appeared on surveillance was from half a mile to just over a mile, or one or two kilometers from the school, and then he disappeared mysteriously in a remote location. Subsequently, mainland media stopped reporting on the case, and suspicions arose that authorities had silenced the incident. This famous VIP account also mentioned another similar incident in the post. Zheng Chunmei, a high school student in Jilin, disappeared similarly and her father had his leg broken when he demanded an investigation. He has been lying in bed for months because there is no surveillance video recording Zheng Chumei jumping into the river, and it's only from a police report that she committed suicide by jumping into the river. The surveillance video shows the last place she disappeared was passing by a car. After this blog post was deleted, many Weibo netizens continued to leave comments and discuss related posts. Some expressed incomprehension, saying, those who understand will understand. Others said, it's horrifying. Unfortunately, most ordinary people either don't believe it or pretend not to acknowledge it. Some netizens commented, local leaders cannot tell the truth because the child's organs may have been transplanted into the body of the local leader's family or the local leader may have used those organs to offer to higher level leaders. If the evil regime of the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, does not end, people's bodies will not be safe. Some netizens linked the case to the mysterious disappearance of student Hu Xinyu from school. Residents revealed that a high-ranking official of the CCP needed the organs of the boy. Finally, the CCP authorities used an unrealistic conclusion of suicide by hanging with shoelaces to close the case forcibly. This case has made many Chinese netizens begin to understand the shady practices of organ harvesting from living people by the CCP. Alarmingly, CCP textbooks encourage students to donate their organs without asking for their parents' opinions or permission. Chinese textbooks encourage students to donate their organs. Recently, a parent with a daughter in high school in China posted on social media that one evening, her daughter suddenly asked if she could sign an organ donation consent form by herself when she turned 18. The daughter said that's what the English textbooks say, 
After hearing this, the parent was shocked and immediately flipped through their daughter's English textbook to find that, indeed, such content was present. This textbook is the second volume in the compulsory and curated high school English textbooks, New Edition 2023, published by the Research and Teaching in Foreign Languages Publishing House. The book contains a narrative passage by a high school student in Shanghai, stating that before entering university at 18, they can independently decide to donate organs. Therefore, the student is preparing to sign the organ donation consent form without consulting their parents. This passage also has a parenthetical note saying, Nevertheless, I know that my parents will agree. After images of the textbook's content were posted online, many netizens criticized the CCP regime as sinister and shameless, evil to the extreme. The orientation in the English textbooks of a country surrounded by the internet firewall is truly unparalleled. Well done. Parents have no right to know anymore, right? Yeah, many parents don't understand English. The publisher is heartless. The great leaders are concerned about their eternal youth and longevity. Truly a sacrifice. Another netizen said, Our English teacher is still kind. My high school third grade textbook also had this passage but the teacher didn't teach us. Another comment left by a netizen was, Let me tell you a story. A colleague of my mother has a son in his final year of university. He secretly signed an organ donation paper, claiming it was a patriotic act. The mother was furious when she found out. According to a multi-year investigation by the World Organization to Investigate the Persecution of Falun Gong, the CCP has relied on harvesting live organs on a large scale from Falun Gong practitioners to develop a massive organ transplant industry. They have built an enormous organ bank network across China that can kill on demand at any time. The number of victims of this black industry is increasing. After the disappearance and death of a high school student named Hu Xinyu in Jiangxi province in 2022, Many parents in China have requested their children boycott the school's strange blood tests and refuse organ donation. However, the CCP regime continues to vigorously promote this in schools nationwide, taking advantage of students' lack of understanding and innocence to encourage organ donation. In recent years, the CCP's media have also loudly published stories of students quickly donating many organs after brain death and praised them for saving many lives etc. However, among them are many students who are brain dead upon admission only for minor illnesses such as fractures and falls. Moreover, the high success rate of organ transplantation also raises suspicions. At the end of last year, Wang Yujie, a student at the Guangzhou Songtian Vocational College, suddenly fell into a coma. Just over two hours later, he was determined to be dead and taken to the funeral home. Meanwhile, Wang was a healthy student who had won awards in many sports competitions at school. The school did not take Wang to the emergency room, but concealed it from the family and quickly cremated the body. Netizens questioned whether this was another case similar to Hu Xinyu.